Okay, so today we're going to show you how to tie the uh, Fulling Mill White Snake. Um, so, first things first, we're using the heavyweight champ hook today uh, in a size 10. So, stick the first hook in the vise. And the first thing we need to do is attach the braid. Um, it's quite important how you do this. If you don't do it securely, the fly breaks. Um, and this is the best way to do it, I think. So, first things first, we do a knotless knot. So you hold the tag end of the braid on top of the hook shank and then you wind the other end of the braid around 10 times around the hook shank. There we go. And then just put the uh, this end of the braid back through the eye of the hook and pull it tight. Use some uh, super glue just to secure this. Now on with your thread. Run your thread down the hook shank. Just snap off the tag end of your thread and then cut off the tag end of the braid. And then take your thread into a position that if this had a barb it would be halfway between the um, the hook barb and the hook point. Yeah. Okay. Now take your zonker. You want to tie the zonker in as close to the back of the leather as possible just leaving a small piece of the fur sticking out of the back just like that. Just apply a little bit of saliva to hold it in place and then catch it in with about five to six turns of thread. Okay, that's good. Pull the zonker back out of the way and then run your thread back up towards the eye. Pull the zonker back over and again we need to separate the fur so we're just tying down um, a bare piece of leather. Take your first turn over and then again catch that in with five to six turns of thread. Okay. Now this part is effectively done. We just need to do a whip finish and then the rear hook is finished. A little bit tricky because you've got the braid sticking out the front. Um, so just a three turn whip finish will be fine here. Okay. Just cut off the tag end of your thread. Smooth everything back, and then we just need to apply a little bit of super glue to the bare thread on the bottom of the hook shank. Okay. Okay. Right, so that's the rear hook finished. Okay, so now to tie the um, the front hook of the snake. So attach your thread. Snap your tag end off. Don't go too far back because we're cutting most of this um, the front hook, the the bend of the front hook off. Okay, so tie on your B chain eyes. Do this with figure of eight turns of thread. So do figure of eight turns and then do turns underneath. This gives it a nice secure base. I like to do this first. Um, first with no glue on the thread and then I like to do it again with super glue on the thread. Just to secure everything. Okay. Right, now we need to attach the braid to the front hook. 
Um, it's quite important we do this securely, so this is the best method I know. So first things first, push the, um, the end of the braid through the hook eye. Make it much shorter than you uh, intend the fly to be and just do two loose turns. Now use your ruler and measure the length of the fly. Um, so I want this um, from the rear of the rear hook to the front eye of the front hook to be seven centimeters. So I put the ruler up against the hook and then I pull it out. Yeah, seven centimeters. Okay, so now we need to bind this down securely. So it's already folded back down through the eye. Bind that down with secure turns of thread and then take your tag end of the braid. I like to wind this forward and back. Just wrap it around your thread a few times and tie it down. Now just use your super glue again. Apply some super glue to those thread wraps just to make everything nice and secure. It goes off very quick, so there we go. Right, now to tie in your zonka. So the trick to this is you've got to pull the braid very tight and then you've got to just rest the zonka on top. So the zonka's under no tension and the braid's under full tension. Right, that's where I want to tie that in. Okay. Tie this down. About five or six turns of thread. And then you can cut off the uh, tag end of the long cut. Now just bind that down and make it look nice and neat. Okay, now we just add some flash into this fly. I like to use um, fluorescent flasher boo. Uh, three strands on each side. Okay. So I tie it in on the side closest to me first. So just tie that in with three turns, then fold it over the top. Catch it in and then just run it down towards the bottom end of the fly. Right, so there we go. So we've got three strands of the flashaboo on each side. As with all flashaboo, it looks a bit better if you don't cut it all the same length. So let's just cut this up slightly different lengths. Okay. This one's a little bit long. Okay, now for a few turns of crystal hackle. Uh, this one's in chartreuse. Just cut the tag end so it's nice and easy to tie in. And we'll probably do two or three turns of this just to fill up the gap between where you tied in the zonka and the bead chain eyes. So, one, two, three, catch it with your thread, wrap the material around your thread and catch it in. Do this once more just to make it nice and secure. And cut off this tag end. Okay now just to finish the fly off we just use a bit of eye stub uh, which we figure of eight around the bead chain eyes and then that is the fly finished. Probably just a little bit more. I like to apply just a touch of super glue on top of the bead chain eyes again just to make everything nice and secure. Try and pull all the fibres back from the crystal hackle and then 
wrap it with your eye stop. Just figure of eighting it through the eyes until you've covered all the bare thread. There we go. Now just apply some super glue to your thread. And then we'll work finish. As this is a snake fly, you've got a hook at the front and you've got a hook at the back. Um, it's your choice, you can leave both hooks in place or you can remove the front hook um, or, the, or the bend of the front hook rather. Uh, on this particular pattern we remove the bend of the front hook and I'll do this with a pair of pliers. Okay, so now we just remove the bend of the front hook with a pair of pliers. So, put the pliers on hold that bend of that hook and there we go it's the finished white snake